What's up, human? Thank you for being on the channel. If you wish to join the Terrence family, punch the shit out of the subscribe button right now. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is being discussed to return on Disney+. Plus. New episodes and its previous continuity intact. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it lasted uh, seven seasons, consisting of 136 episodes ranging from 40 to 43 minutes apiece. I enjoyed Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. when it was on. I know a lot of humans didn't like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They watched the show, then they fell off in this season, then they stopped and came back in season five and all this kind of stuff. And one of the biggest complaints that a lot of humans had uh, while Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was airing uh, was that it didn't have enough MCU guest stars. You know, it just didn't feel like it was in continuity with the MCU films. Um, you have uh, characters like um, uh, Nick Fury and uh, Lady Sif. You know, those are like the biggest ones that, you know, appeared on the show that were in the MCU films. But um, the first two seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, when they were doing the Hydra stuff, and that led into Captain America, uh, The Winter Soldier, which is still one of the best comic book movies I've ever seen. Like, after that, they kind of just started doing their own thing, and it just, what was happening in the MCU films was of no consequence to uh, what was going on in, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and vice versa. You know, they might as well have been in two different universes, even though it's just like it's all connected. Like, I guess it just didn't feel like it most of the time. So um, a lot of humans had issues with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I was there uh, from when it started to when it ended. You know, I was there for every single episode and I pretty much enjoyed most of it. I mean, there were some episodes that I didn't care for, but uh, for the most part, I enjoyed the hell out of the show. And I really like when they brought in... Uh, Robbie Reyes' Ghost Rider, like, that was fucking sick, that was in season four, they had, like, three different arcs, but, yeah, I had a good time with, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I love me some Quake, oh, my God, Quake is such a badass character, played by the gorgeous Chloe Bennett, I think it was three weeks ago when I was stroking my dick to her, but that's neither here nor there, but, um, you know, if they can do something and save, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., that's cool, I feel like the show had a good run and it had a good ending, so it doesn't need to come back. But if it does, I would be there with my feet kicked up with the popcorn and the glass of lemonade with four ice cubes. And I'm going to be ready to get down. And um, I better see me some Quake because you can't do Age of S.H.I.E.L.D. and it ain't no Quake. You know, Quake got to be there to fuck motherfuckers up because Quake's a badass. And I love that character, so we shall see. What comes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Again, if we don't get any new episodes, I'm fine with that because the show lasted a long time. 136 episodes is a lot, especially in this day and age. Shit. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. had a good run thanks to Disney. You know, really back in the show financially. They didn't want the show to go under too quickly. They was like, yeah, we gonna make sure this lasts a cool minute. And it did. Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video, share it with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. Punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Terrence out.